Romans 12, 9. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong and hold tightly to what is good. Hey YouTubers, Sophieology here. I am just now uploading this video in October when I recorded it in the summer because I suck. But um, let's get right into business. First, you will need a mannequin head, a nice wig cap, and your lace closure that you'll be using. You will also need your hair weaves, ladies. Um, some needle and some thread. I prefer to use a big needle, it's just easier for me. You also need some sharp, sharp scissors so you can get some business done. And these two things are optional, some elastic banding and some pins or needles to keep the wig from shifting. Um, you're gonna be here for a couple of hours or if you're quick, 30 minutes. Uh, so use a snack. Let's get started. So what I was doing was just pinning the needles down into the cap just to keep it with a sturdy base. Now I noticed that my client had like a plastic surrounding the lace. I did not cut it because she didn't give me any directions to so it's going to keep it on there but it doesn't make it difficult for me to do my job. I am also very hungry so if you see me or a spoon just know that I'm eating some good good food. Anyway so let's get started. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for me to get the needle through but um, I'm gonna try to get through this annoying plastic and continue anyway. So as you can see, I'm just working my way around. Please ignore the plastic. There's nothing I can really do about it but sew right through it. But um, yeah, after you finish sewing on the lace closure, you will start to sew the longest um, bundle to the bottom. And I'm gonna be doing this using the flip over method. I think later in the video, I'll show more detail on that. But yeah, just work your way around. You're only going corner to corner. If you need to try the wig on during this process, go ahead, feel free to do so. But you want the longest bundle to start at the ears and work its way all around until it runs out. Two bundles down, one more to go. I am approaching the top. Now, be mindful, a wig should be just like a sew-in, so you don't wanna just pile everything at the top. You want it to have a very sleek, natural look. So continue to work your way around as you would, but just be thoughtful of that bulkiness. Now when it comes to the flip over method, what you're going to do is just flip it over and I got the first stitch off camera but if you look closely, I already did one stitch. Now what you're going to do is just put your hand as flat as you can, make the weft as flat as it can be over, then sew it very tightly to close in any type of air or gap through the folding so the folding is basically non-existent. This will make the hair very natural, flat, and unbulky. If you didn't catch it just then, don't worry, when I move to the other side, I will show you once again. All right, so now we're to the other side. Like I said before, you wanna flip it over, 
and hold it down as tightly as possible, okay? To position it exactly to where you want it to be. Then you're gonna take the needle and poke it through the weft. Do not poke it through the hair because it won't stay. Poke it through the weft and bring it as tightly as you can into the cap. Then you're gonna continue sewing as usual right through the wefts and lay it directly over the track right under it. Now we're at the top, this is the most vital part. You're coming down to your last wefts. For two, let nobody do me better See, I'm balling, I'm balling. Now this will be your last track. You want to connect it right to the lace closure. So swing the track around, measure how long it is, and take your sharp, sharp, sharp scissors and cut. Now tie a secure knot and cut the thread. You are almost done making the wig, just one more step. Grab your sharp, sharp scissors and cut the extra lace in front of the wig, as close as you can to the natural hairline. So this is what the inside looks like. I know we're ready to finish the wig, but just one more step. See the space inside between the cap and the lace closure? You wanna take your sharp, sharp scissors and just cut it off. Now, as for the elastic bangs, you can just like take them and sew them accordingly onto the wig for more like uh, security. And for a more realistic look, just remove some hair out from the sides, from the front, and all sorts of things like that, just so you, it can look more realistic on your head. But I know what you're thinking, we don't care about this black wig, Sophia, we wanna know how you do your hair and get it to, the way, to look the way, wow, it looks, what's going on with my tongue. But um, I will be posting a video on my hair care, my hair routine, and how I made this U-part wig. Now, my hair is currently pink, but let's save that for later. Anyways, keep it sophisticated.